Hello, this tutorial is about welding and end cloth. I hope you're curious and so we'll start with a polygon sphere. For cloth we need lots and lots of detail. That's why I go to the polysphere number one and instead of subdivision axis and height 20 by 20, I increase this by to 70 by 70. So we have a real complex geometry here. I go to the side window and select faces with the right mouse button and I delete all the faces up here. The reason why I'm doing this in the side window or in the front window wouldn't make a difference is that I exactly select uh, certain faces. So it's an exact cut. In the perspective window you couldn't do that that exactly. So back to object mode and this object now, I want to first of all give a nice shader, new material, an Arnold surface shader, and I give it the color a light blue, like this. And uh, I select it, go to FX here, and here I have N cloth, and I create N cloth. So um, it falls down which you think is boring, but it is not because the cloth simulation is already taken part here and the object looks quite differently after falling for two seconds or so. The gravity in the scene sits here, it's the nucleus. And what I'll do now is I reduce the gravity to a really small value from 9.8 to 0 0.1. So the object hardly falls at all. It slightly deforms already, but not very much. Let me extend the frame range to say 600. And now I go back to the side window and I select vertices. And I select those vertices up here. You see it's a, a precise selection here of this ring. With those uh, vertices, points selected, I go to end constraint because now we're creating a constraint and I uh, use the top entry, the component constraint. The component constraint keeps things together. And before doing anything else here, I use this pull-down menu and choose Weld. This is what this tutorial is about. What happens now? The surface behaves as if there was a rubber pulling the open end of our half sphere together. Let's reduce the strength of this welding activity from 20 to 5. Or to 1. And this is all I wanted to show you today. Bye-bye.